Okay, what is up guys? Teacher Keith here. <clears throat> First installment in the ongoing series of human anatomy. Uh, today we are studying the <coughs> esophagus. Esophagus, okay? It can also be known as esophagus. Uh, okay, so colloquially known also as the food pipe or gullet. It is an organ in vertebrae through which food passes, aided by peristaltic contractions from the pharynx to the stomach. The esophagus is a fibromuscular tube about <coughs> 10 inches long in adults that travels behind uh, that travels behind the trachea and the heart and passes through the diaphragm and empties into the uppermost region of the stomach. During swallowing, the epigl <coughs> epiglottis tilts backwards uh, to, to prevent food from going down the larynx and the lungs. The word esophagus is from ancient Greek oesophagos uh so okay so the wall of the esophagus from the lumen outward consists consists of mucosa submucosa a uh, connective tissue layers of muscle fibers uh, between layers of fibrous tissue and an outer layer of connective tissue. The mucosa is a stratified squamous epithelium of around three layers of squamous cells, which contrasts to the single layer of columnar cells of the stomach. The transition between these two types of epithelium is visible in a zigzag line. Most of the muscle is smooth muscle, although straight <laughs> striated muscle uh, predominates the upper third. It has two muscular rings or sphincters in its wall, once at the top, one at the top and one at the bottom. The lower sphincter helps to prevent reflux at, of acidic stomach content. The esophagus has a rich blood supply and venous drainage. Okay, so there you have it. That is my first installment uh, of human anatomy. Uh, give me a like, smash me a subscribe. Bye-bye.